what's up welcome to my channel it's Kayla I am um, getting ready it's Christmas Eve and I am wearing my Mariah Carey shirt um, and I am just getting ready to go to the store I have a couple pictures to print out at CVS um, because I'm using them for my scrapbook so I have a couple things to pick up in just a couple minutes, but I wanted to do a little get ready with me because I haven't done that in a while and I want to do it the right way this time <laughs> instead of having my makeup on and then going over what I already did. So let's do this the right way and follow along with me. So stay tuned. All right, everyone. So I am going to start doing my makeup. Um, I'm not going to do my full face just because I haven't been tanning lately and my foundation doesn't currently match my skin tone. So I think that I'd look like Mr. Trump if I used my foundation because it would turn me very orange. So I'm just going to forego that step. Let me clip my hair back so you can see better. Um, and I changed my plugs so that they are red and festive for today in celebration of the holidays. Um, okay, so first what I'm going to do is start out with my eyeliner. And I always use a pencil eyeliner on the bottom. Um, this is by Maybelline. It's called Master Precise Skinny. If you've watched any of my old vlogs, my old Get Ready With Me vlogs, I always use this. This is my favorite. I have about three extras just laying around because um, if I misplace it or if I wanna put it in my purse, I always have one on hand. So we're just gonna go, gotta put this away. Um, I hope you can see me. Okay, there we go. So I always start from the middle of my eyelid on the bottom, and then I just make a dark line, bring it to the end, and then go to the front, like the eye duct. And voila! So there is the first eye. Same thing on the other side. Start in the middle, bring it to the edge. And then towards the tear duct. So this is what it looks like so far. And then for my eyeshadow, I decided to go with my little MAC eyeshadow palette. And I think what I'm going to do is go with, where are my brushes? Let's see. I think I'm going to go with this like nice little bronze color. And then I'm going to go with this one. So what I like to do, and I started doing this recently, um, I'll grab my angled brush. You see how it's a little angled? And then I take the lighter shade. Or do I want to do darker? Should have figured that out. Um, no, I'll just go with the lighter shade. So I'm going to dip into the color that I'm going to use on the crease of my eye. And I'm just gonna put that on my brush. And then I go, I close my eye, and then I start at the middle, so right at the crease, and then I just kind of blend it out. I hope you guys can see this. I don't really have a good setup at the moment um, because for the last, well, ever since I started vlogging, I used my phone for my camera and uh, I don't have a stand or anything. So I'm kind of a shitty YouTuber. What can I say? <laughs> Sorry, guys. 
And then same thing to the other side. And you can see a nice little golden shimmer there. So that worked out. And then like I said, I'm going to use this pretty bronze color. I felt it was neutral enough to use for uh, Christmas Eve. That's pretty. It's really pretty. Okay, so that's what this eye looks like. It's a little hard to tell. Now you can see it. There you go. All right. And then same thing to the other side. Take this pretty bronze and then just apply it to the other eye. My mom is currently at the gym. Uh, what day is it? Thursday? It must be. Um, so she must have switched her time because she normally goes in the evening. And today I was like, what? You're going in the morning? That's kind of weird. Okay. All right. Awesome. And then I don't think I really need to blend it out. I guess I will just a little bit. So it's not just like one color and then another color and like it looks weird. So I'll just kind of blend it out like this. Can you see? I just hate it when colors look blocky. You know what I mean? So, okay, this is what it looks like so far. And I'm going to put my brushes away. And then after that, I use my liquid eyeliner. And this is by Revline. It's called Color Stay. Kind of hard to focus. I hate using my phone sometimes. And then when I apply my liquid eyeliner, I always start at the... Um, beginning of my eye and then just kind of make a line to the end and you have to make sure that you're very consistent hold on don't fall okay so um i'll start with this eye first and i always once i dip it in the pot i always kind of like wipe off the edges because I don't want too much product where it's immediately going to smear. So start at the front of the eye. Draw a line. So yeah, you guys, um, I guess while I'm doing this, I can give you a little update. I don't know if you're still interested, but um, Jake, my former fiance, and I are not on speaking terms at all. He made me give my ring back, which made me really upset. But stay lovey. It's it's over. I'm fine with giving it back. Um, I no longer want him in my life. So I might as well, you know. But it is true, I will say this, I have been incredibly lonely lately. It's really sad. I miss, I miss companionship, I guess is the best way to describe how I feel um, lately. I really, I see like all these couples on Facebook and everyone's so happy and celebrating the holidays together. And I'm just kind of sitting on the sidelines like, okay, like when's my Mr. Wright gonna come along? So um, I'm eagerly anticipating the moment when I find the right guy for me. I have a couple suitors, but 
Um, I don't know. I don't, I don't, and they're all great. Don't get me wrong. Um, I definitely consider them like some of my best friends at the moment, but I don't know if I'm not ready to commit necessarily at this moment or if I just like, I don't know. It's really confusing. I really want a boyfriend, but I don't want to just settle, you know, so I want to make sure that whoever I do, do choose as a partner is the right decision for me and my life at this moment. So I, um, I take it really seriously, you know, like I really do want to find my forever person. I would love to get married within the next couple years and I just really need a focus on who's right for me if I'm right for them um but the interesting thing is okay and then we're going to do mascara right now um actually let me let that eyeliner dry and then I'm gonna curl my lashes which I don't think I really do that often but it's a special occasion um but yeah, it's really just finding the right person to fit me and my needs and uh, who will complement my life. I definitely want someone that my mom and dad approve of because for the longest time they did not approve of Jake. Finally, they came to love him and then he ended up doing drugs. So no one really likes him anymore, um, at least in my family because that's bad. Don't do drugs. <laughs> it ruins lives, really. Um, okay, so what we're gonna do next is go in with the eyelash curler. And I don't really, I sometimes what I do with eyelash curlers is I actually blow dry it so that the metal heats up and then I feel like it gives me like a really nice curl to my lashes, but it's in the drawer. I don't really feel like burning my eyelid right now. <laughs> so I'm just going to do it normal. And so what I do, I line it up to my eye. Um, I try not to get it on the eyeliner on top. And then you just squeeze the handles. Wait a couple seconds. And ta-da. And then it curls. And then immediately after that, I take my mascara this is called Thrive. It's made by Thrive. And I actually found this on an ad on Facebook. And I shit you not, this is the best mascara that I have ever used. It, oh, don't get it in my eye. It lengthens your lashes. It separates them. It's, it's awesome. I, 10 out of 10 recommend. Oh my God, I just got it on my face. And I blinked and now it's below my eye. I'll show you, hold on. Oh my God, there's a huge mark on my face. <laughs> oh my God. Do you see? <laughs> oh my God, silly. So now I need a makeup wipe. And then a little right there. There we go. Perfect. Okay. No harm, no foul. And then we're going to do the same thing to the other eye. I keep blinking and it keeps getting on the bottom of my eye. So we're going to line it up to our eyelid. Don't smush it, cause that hurts. So line it up to your lashes. Press down for a couple seconds. And then it's curled. And then go over with mascara again. I might use a couple different mascaras I think today just to get like the ultimate lift. And so when you are putting on mascara, you want to remember, um, 
go from root to tip. And then you'll have maximum lift, curl, whatever. So that's what it looks like. And then I think after this one, after Thrive, oh, it says liquid lash extensions. I don't know what it means by extensions because it's just mascara, but it definitely like is really good. I'm very impressed with it. So next I'm going to layer it with um, Maybelline Falsies Push Up Drama. And then I'm just gonna coat it. I won't put a ton on because I don't want my lashes to clump together. That's not what I want. But just some added lift in volume. Nothing wrong with, oh my God, I got it on my face again. How do I keep doing that, Kayla? Come on, get it together, girl. So again, we're going to use Makeup Wipe. Ta-da, done, gone. All right, so now it's time to put lipstick on. I'm going to go with my Jeffree Star um, Nudes. I'm gonna choose from this. Jeffree Star Cosmetics, open here for nudes, ooh. And then this is what it looks like on the inside. Which one do you think I should use, you guys? I think I'm going to use Androgyny, which is this pretty, I don't know, would you call this like mauve, kind of? A little, it's kind of like pinky, but not, but like still a nude. I like it. It's probably one of my favorites from this collection. So I'm just going to apply it. And what I do when I apply lipstick, I go one, obviously one lip at a time. And I start on the bottom usually. And I go from one side to the center. I'm really sad because I think these are actually like really drying up. So I'm gonna and then go from the other side to the center. Yeah. This is really dry, but that's okay. I have to get a new palette. And then when it comes to the upper lip, I start in the middle and I go to the right side. So go in the middle. Here, I'll just do it like this. Middle, Cupid's bow. And then just kind of fill it in that way. And then same thing to the other side. Well, start at the middle. Okay, and then smush it all together. And there we have it. I am so anal about putting my stuff away. So whenever I use a product, I always, always, always make sure to put it away right away just because I am so prone to losing things. <laughs> and that's never fun. I can never find shit. Um, and then let's see, everything's looking good. I'm happy with my look today. And then the final touch I'm going to use is, um, by L'Oreal, I think. Pretty sure. And this is called Voluminous Lash Paradise. And this is mascara that I use on my bottom lashes. It looks like this, the brush looks like this. Really nice, really thick, and it just gives my lashes on the bottom like a little oomph. 
Not too much, just a quick little sweep. Oh my God, you guys, I didn't even tell you. Holy shit. It's been a while since I last vlogged. I am so sorry that I'm so inconsistent. It's just been one hell of a ride. But I did also want to mention that we unfortunately had to put my kitty bud down the other day. Um, it's very sad, but he was 18. He lived a wonderful life. He was loved by many. Um, he had a great life, so it was really time for him to go. And um, about a month ago, towards Thanksgiving, I took him to the vet because he had a lot of um, earwax built up in his ears, so I wanted to get that removed and then uh, he had been throwing up a lot so I wanted I, I knew that he had pancreatitis so I just wanted a refill on his meds so that he could be more comfortable and not throw up as much and uh, when I took him into the vet they gave me the unfortunate diagnosis that he had a tumor in his belly and they offered to put him down right then and there and I, I kind of looked at them like quizzically and I was like, I don't think so. Not for my own selfish reasons, because like if he was in pain, of okay, course. my camera cut off, sorry. Um, so basically, the uh, story is that my cat passed away. It's really sad. I miss him a lot this year. We unfortunately lost his sister last year, maybe like a year and a half ago. So we are in a pet-free house now. It's very lonely. I miss them both so much. They were my angels, and now they're my angels in heaven. So I am, uh, I'm glad that Bud got to reunite with his beloved sister and uh, all the people that I've lost and miss and cherish. So uh, it's good that we put him down when, he, when we did. Um, because he's no longer suffering. So anyway, that's the story on that. It's really sad. Just to give you a little idea of what we are working with, here is my little workstation, my coffee right there. Very much needed today. Um, but yeah, so this is what I've been working on. I think it turned out really well so far. Just lots of pictures memories and yeah and then the last page that I'm going to work on today is um, pictures of her and I on vacation in Florida all right so I am all done with my mom's present her homemade present we are making cookies at the moment here is some homemade icing and then the cookies we're gonna decorate. More icing and sprinkles. And my kitchen is a mess. <laughs> I'm gonna try this because it's broken. Yum. All right, guys, we just got done decorating Christmas cookies. Here are a couple. They are bells, if you can't tell. And then that's a little Christmas tree. And me and my mom worked on them together. I think they turned out awesome.